Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Von Bor Famous, and I'm a music producer, audio engineer, sound tech, film director, recording artist, and just an artist in general. And somehow all those titles make sense in the world of music and in production. But I'm out of San Diego, California, and I've been doing music for a little bit over 15 years. I just packed another bun, got a very long flight. I'm sorry, no my body got me skating on ice. Every big body forest, but we pulling up nice. My second to the strip for a nice long night. Couple girls wanna go, wanna party y'all night. I think I had a love for music ever since I was a kid. Um, my parents would tell you if the music was playing in the living room, as a little baby, I'd scooch on the back and put my head next to the speaker just to fill the bass. So um, music's always been like something that called to me. When I got around six or eight, I think I started songwriting like actual hooks and verses. And by the time I was a teenager, I was really, really into battle rap. Um, if I wasn't watching one, I was involved in it or in the ring. And it turned into me investing in actual studio time and eventually making my own buzz within the music industry. I think the most important thing for any music producer is their network. Their network is literally gonna be their net worth. And when you're in any entertainment field, but specifically music, who you know and your connections is going to get you in spots and open doors like nothing else there are opportunities that you will feel even if you're not the best producer or the best person to fill the position but since you know somebody you may be able to get that spot so i think networking is huge hands up high hands up high if you're a bad bitch put your hands up high hands up high hands up high if you're a bad bitch put your hands up high hands up high hands up high if you're a bad bitch put your hands up high hands up high hands up high if you're I think whatever emotion I'm going through is what I'm trying to evoke to the listener. So if I'm in a good mood and I'm feeling good, I want them to feel good. If it's, you know, something that's sad, I want them to feel sad. If it's something that's important, I want them to feel woke enough to understand and listen. I want my words to be enunciated. I don't want it to be too fast. I need them to understand me. So. There's a certain process depending on what I'm trying to portray, but most of the time, whatever I'm feeling is what I'm trying to get you to feel. Niggas can't hang this, my fuck up your budget. Yeah, we can talk when I walk in, that's fairly. Y'all to the streets, even corporate, they hand me a mall. Not talking DMs, but she wanna slide. List the pedarium, the mob is outside. Niggas be nervous, them bitches be hard. I pulled the pen in, so fuck it, I talk it. Virgo the Ablos, Infinity the Shades. Rolly my wrist up and give me the brains. You probably think I got dressed for this shit. Well, one of the most intricate parts about me being a producer is that me making a beat and finishing it is only me being halfway done. Um, and I think that's like the most intricate part about my production theory is that when I'm done making a beat, I'm only halfway done because most of the time, the other half is me writing lyrics, um, making a catchy hook, writing a verse that makes sense, and then recording it. So when I'm done with a beat, I'm like halfway done in the process. But I think that being able to harbor creative control from the ground up is what makes my songs even better. I got these girls trying to kick it like you shouting. Once I pitch the flow, they throw the towel in. I'm old and dangerous. I took my city, took your town, and I'm with the bros. I keep it hundred, stacking thousands. Be motivated. I should cop another foreign one to see their faces. Cause the ones I got be roaring, coming through first place. Louis Wills, let's reflect on winning how it truly feel. Drop top, but you know we grew up on those scoop the bills. When it's all said and done, I can't make any beats. I want people to know of Born Famous as a genre pusher someone who had no standards and no boundaries when it came to music um someone who was a studio head who was prepared to sit on the pads keys and get on the microphone every day to push it to the next level um i've done rap i've done r b i've done pop i've done rock i've done techno i've done trance i've done latin i mean i've done classical music i've made horror movies for films i cannot classify myself in a box so i just hope that my audience fans now or future fans will know born famous for someone who 
pushed boundaries and literally had no limits when it came to music in any genre. 